Welcome to our Marketing Center training video. With our Marketing Center, whether you're using a desktop computer or a mobile device, you can effortlessly create stunning 300 DPI flyers and social media cards within just minutes. During this introduction, we will showcase some of our remarkable single page flyers, double page flyers, and social media cards to demonstrate the impressive capabilities of our Marketing Center. We are continuously updating our flyer and social card layouts, so remember to check back frequently for new options. Our flyers are available in single page and double page layouts. While our social media cards are designed specifically for popular social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, and even things like LinkedIn or Google My Business. These images are expertly crafted and perfect for showcasing your new listing, price reductions, open houses, recently sold listing, and much more. In this training video, we will guide you through the simple process of creating professional flyers and social media cards while using our marketing center. So let's get right into it. From this dashboard menu, you'll have a few options. You can view your flyer, download the PDF version or the JPEG version. Over to the right, you'll be able to edit the flyer or even delete it completely. Remember from the All tab, you have the option to choose every media type. However, when you're in each section on the left, you can only create that type of media. So for example, I've selected single page and now I'm only seeing the single page flyers. However, on the All tab, you're gonna get every option available. To get started, we're going to hit Create New, and you're going to make a choice on which type of flyer or social card you would like. By now, you should be familiar with the delivery site and the ability to adjust things like your price, your property description, the property information, and even the agent information is available on that page. You can save yourself some time by entering the information on the delivery site, and then it will pre-populate when creating a new flyer. Once you get into your flyer, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the flyer name. This allows you to differentiate your flyers from each other. You'll also see the flyer background color. So you can adjust this background color a few different ways. You can either click here on the RGB section and you've got the color slider that you can change. You can adjust your color here with the slider. And don't forget you have the opacity down here you can adjust that to your liking as well. And if you're not satisfied with this color, you can just simply hit default color and get rid of it there. You'll see some sections have this orange icon. If you select that, it allows you to adjust this block's color. So once again, if we use, for example, the eyedropper tool, I can just pick this grass here and this block will change to that color. Don't forget, you can even edit it more and go and refine just by selecting here. To make changes to the image, you can simply click the image of your choice. Now on the left-hand side, you'll see a few options. Starting from the top, you'll see Change Image. This allows you to see all the images that are within this project, and you can even upload your own from your files here. So we can pick the one we'd like and hit Select. Now that's going to change. To the right of that, we have the Edit Image. From here, you can crop add filters, fine tune your image. You can even add text annotations on there or upload your own stickers. What's really cool about this section is you can simply go back and undo all of the changes you've just done if you don't love it. So for example, up at the top here, I have this undo button, which will just take me back one step. And then over to the right, I have this over here, which is gonna remove everything that I've done in this section. And lastly, you're just gonna to wanna to hit save or you can exit out of here at the top. Below that, we have the change image position. So what we can do is click that. And now we can scroll in on our image, drag it to where we'd like. Maybe we want this angle and we can hit done moving image. You can also change the image position by double clicking on an image and then you're able to zoom in to where you'd like. Once you're done, you can hit done moving image. And if you're not satisfied, you can always double click again. And that takes you all the way zoomed out of the image so you can start over. You'll see there's multiple text boxes across the flyers that can be edited. By hovering over them, you'll see the orange icon letting you know that this is an editable section. So for each one, 
you'll have at the top the option to totally hide this section. So everything encompassed in the orange, if I hit hide block, it will slash it out and that will not show up when I print the flyers out. Just below that, we have the text background color. So just like before, you can click here, adjust your color, or you've got the eye drop tool here. Down below, you'll have the text editor. From here, you can enter or adjust all of your text um, just as you normally would. You can also adjust all of the agent information, whether it be their contact info or even their images here. You can change the profile or logo for the agent here. Simply click change profile. You'll have your media library if you've ever uploaded images before, or you can simply hit browse and upload the image of your choice and then select that image and boom. Again, your agent information is pulled from our database. Remember, you can edit this information from the delivery page. Some flyers will also have QR code options. So if you click on the QR code, you'll be brought to this menu. Within the QR code section, you'll have a few different options. At the top, you'll see the option to display or hide the QR code. Next, you'll see the option to display or hide the powered by section. That section is going to show that we were the ones that shot these beautiful photos for you. And lastly, you'll see the option to show or hide the other property links. Once we continue down a bit farther, you'll see the option for all your social media links. And don't forget, these are pulled from the database. So you can enter these on the delivery site and then it will autofill for the future. Once you've made all the changes you'd like to your flyer, down at the bottom left, you'll see a few options here. The preview option, compile, or the grayed out download if you have yet to compile. So for now, we're just going to hit the compile option. Wait for that to finish compiling. Once you've compiled your flyer, you'll notice that the download option is no longer grayed out. If you click on that, you'll see either the option to export to PDF or export an image to JPEG. Once you're happy with your flyer and you've compiled and downloaded it, at the top right, you'll see the return option. By clicking that, it will take you back into the dashboard. I hope this video proved useful for you. That should cover everything you need to know about creating flyers and social cards within the Marketing Center. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.